Howdy. Killer J. Phantom over here. So welcome to the Game Talk, episode four. So we're gonna talk about some good old games. Definitely. <laughs> what have we? What we see? What you seen in reviews? We uh, played uh, Killing Floor, uh, Riff, Online. Riff, and that Dino Shark, Dino D Day, and that crashed. Yeah, there there was a potential Dino D Day review. Um, it didn't work out this time, but if you guys actually want to see it, just message us and we can make it happen another time. Yep. And anyway, uh, what I've been playing lately, I've been playing a lot of Infamous Second Son. I'm enjoying that a lot. That it's good, good platforming, good shooting, and you can switch to different abilities. You can be, you have smoke, you have neon, and you have angel powers that you can drain TV stuff. Oh, it's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Pretty crazy. I'm looking forward to the DLC for it. Uh, it's gonna come out there pretty come out in August. I think it's gonna have one of the characters from the set from the from the game. Uh, a female, I think it's Stretch. I think she's gonna be in the DLC. I'm pretty sure. If if you correct me on that, and just let me know. And anyway, uh, what what I uh, what I also played a bit of Wolfenstein. It's pretty fun though, but you know. Yeah, I tried Wolfenstein. I don't know. Uh, I, I had really mixed feelings about it because I kind of liked how it had a classic feel. I mean, like you have your armor rating at the bottom and stuff, and the armor pickup is all helmets all the time. I thought that was kind of funny, just picking up a shit ton of helmets. <laughs> dog eating dog food pretty much. Yeah, it was, I thought it was pretty funny, but uh, it, it kind of didn't live up to my expectations. No. It was kind of lackluster. The graphics weren't as good as it should have been despite being such a big budget game. Yeah. Same thing with Watch Dogs. That was like yeah. everyone like gave that like gave that a good score, but yeah, Watch Dogs is garbage. It it looks nice. It's a really nice looking game, but it's not like a yeah, it's, it's not, not a it's not game. it's not like a ten out of ten say oh fuck get this game now yeah. like it's worth sixty nine dollars. Like, it's not even worth sixty nine cents. If you're gonna try to make an epic game, don't make it all about fetch quests. No, <laughs> it, no, make it about fetch quests or majority of it's hacking. Yeah, or make it glitchy. I've seen lots of glitch videos about it. I haven't I haven't played it enough to get any good amount of glitches. I've seen a few, but quite a bit. Yeah, quite a bit. There's lots of glitches of NPCs doing things they shouldn't, getting you killed half the time, you know, stuff yeah. like that. It's like Graph of Fall, but not fun. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so. Grand Theft Auto 4 by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Grand Theft Auto 5, the definitive edition is going to come out pretty soon. Yeah, it I does. Know. I've I've seen I've always wanted to play. I haven't I haven't had a chance to play Grand Theft Auto 5 for more than like an hour or two. Because I don't know, I've never owned it. I've just played it with friends. Yeah. But it seems like a really fun game. But they pushed a lot with GTA yeah. 5 on last gen consoles. That would look beautiful. Like yeah. they pushed it to its limits. And I mean, it's going to be coming on a PC soon. Definitely. Whenever the defin well, whenever the definitive edition comes out, it's going to be on PC. So you can imagine all the modders are going to have a fun time with that. Yeah, they're going to have <laughs> they have some fun stuff, man. It's yeah, gonna they're going to put some cool vehicles. Cool, that. wicked ass stuff and good fun times. Imagine the submarine isn't going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> GTA man, you know, looking forward to more games. Evil Within, that's another one I'm looking forward yeah. to, and I'm really looking forward to Evil Within. Yeah, uh, I didn't, e I don't know much about it because I didn't, I only heard about it a few times at E3, and I, I've seen some gameplay videos of the demo. I've seen PewDiePie play it, and it looks like a really, like it looks like an amazing game because they handle the gore well. I mean, yeah. you can shoot, a, you shoot an enemy, you, you'll see the bullet go through him, you'll see his blood and guts spatter on the wall behind it, <laughs> and it'll, you'll see them drip down. I'm like, that's yeah. really cool, you know? That's like more get, like a realistic yeah. feel, basically. If you're trying, like, I, cartoony feels and limited effects, you know, work in most games, you don't always need good graphics, but it, in a horror game, where immersion is the main part of the horror, yeah. graphics are an essential part of it. Well, basically, uh, it's like was like what the, I think the developer, uh, the new developer Tango GameWorks is like something to do with Resident Evil because if it if it borrows from Resident Evil, it's going to be probably that horror aspect of Resident Evil, not the tank control aspect, but the horror aspect. It's going to be good there for fans like that because what Resident Evil has become is like more like a, a shooter with zomb like it's basically like Call of Duty with zombies. Like Resident Evil Six was littered with quick time events, too many quick time events. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't. Even Resident Evil 4 was, in my opinion, the best. Yep. But it wasn't even a true Resident Evil game so far as the formula goes. It was oh. really good, but there hasn't been an actual Resident Evil game since the third. The rest of them have been their own kind of series branching off from yeah. them, in my opinion. Like Resident Evil Relations, that's like probably the closest thing they got to a good Resident Evil yeah. game. They try to mix up with new monsters, they brought old characters, they had different perspectives, they had 
you had good had a good you were on a boat, you were in different areas, you had good gameplay there. Yeah. It was like Resident Evil four. And Resident Evil is all about confining situations and in the new ones you're in like these sprawling environments and that's yeah. really new to it. Pretty much. Well, I like that. I like Resident Evil Revelations a lot. I really. Oh, if in one of these days I'll have to play it again. Definitely have to. I have to tell myself to play it again. And I mean, they even have it on PC now too. You can get it on Steam. That's oh, pretty look cool. at that! Right on. So anyway, like you can pretty much play it on most of the consoles. I'm pretty sure they have it on 3DS, I believe. Yep. They got 3DS. They got it on the consoles. They got it on PC. So it's on most of the platforms. You got on the Wii U, which would which the Wii U needs a game like this. There, come on. Yeah. Wii U doesn't. Wii U is going to be good I mean, for Resident exclusives. Evil, Resident Evil is definitely a game you could make use of the Wii U's touchpad. Yeah, so. like like scanning stuff or like bring up the map stuff like that. Yeah. But the co the controller for the Wii is like like a big 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 big. But people would probably rather play with a cla regular controller than a, looking at a screen if it. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, it helps with games like Zelda, the new Zelda that was announced. I mean, it doesn't look it doesn't look all that good to me. I'm not getting hyped about it because nope. I haven't. I haven't had a Zelda I enjoyed since Twilight Princess. Hmm. You know, Skyward Sword was okay. It had yeah. a lot of cool things about it, but it was not the best. And I think Nintendo. I mean, Hyrule Warriors. You know, Nintendo now is just really kind of dying. Yeah, <laughs> slowly but surely. Like Saints Row Four, Dynasty Warriors, Dynasty Zelda. War, Dynasty Warriors, Zelda. I don't know how they're doing that, but it's Nintendo. Yeah. Basically, uh, Saints Row Four is pretty good too. It's like. It's basically like infamous, kind of like infamous in that way, but it got superpowers. You can, you can sprint for a mere, you can sprint and go really fast. You can do yeah. a high ass jump. You can telekinesis, freeze powers, and stuff like that. Yeah, it's just a crazy sandbox game. That's pretty cool. It's like GTA with, with powers because G Saints Row. I don't know how they do it, but they get every like every most every installment, they, every installment of the game, they get crazier and wackier for some reason. But it's still fun. Yeah, fun the to play. thing about it is the craziness. Yeah, you can customize your character. You can make his uh, sex appeal, uh, his junk bigger. You make uh, the women's <laughs> breasts bigger and stuff like that. It's, it's kind of funny. I know, but it's you can have you can basically have these taunt modes. Like the one was the the dumper, like he's taking a poop. Ew. And there's one where like uh, <laughs> the dumper kind of fucking positions. All that. kinds of crazy weapons too. Yeah, crazy weapons, alien weapons. Uh, yeah, Borderlands. Rifles. Borderlands has a lot of weapons, but Saints Row has cool weapons. Yep, yeah, definitely. They're gonna call it Borderlands the pre sequel, which they're probably gonna be on. Yeah, that looks that actually looks really cool to me. Yeah. I'm a huge fan of Borderlands. I mean, Borderlands One was a bit boring to me. Yeah. But the, I feel like Borderlands Two was almost a perfect video game, and the new Borderlands looks really cool. I mean, they're yeah. they're making it as an entirely new story. About all the previous characters that you really wanted to know what their stories about, and yeah. you got crazy weapons. You're on a moon, so you're constantly wearing spacesuits and flying <laughs> around and stuff like that. Right awesome. on. That is badass. Driving man. moon rovers, <laughs> mini jet crazy scooters. Shit, it's like man. that's pretty cool. Fuck right on. You're changing it up again. You know, keeping it fresh. Good. You can only play Borderlands 2 so much. <laughs> Definitely. I mean, the pre sequel and stuff like that. All the basically uh, Sniper Elite Free. I played that. There were some bugs in that, but it's still fun. Like you can shoot people in the nutsack, their heads, their <laughs> hearts, even their livers and stuff like their ne their necks, everything. It, it, it you have other weapons in there, basically like like a machine guns and like a pistol, a silenced pistol. But the main yeah. good weapon is a sniper rifle. I mean, basically. Yeah, sniper Elite. Yeah, you think yeah. They focus it on the they sniper. Fo focus on the sniper rifle. Yes. But story. Well, I I'm gonna have to review that game. Definitely have to. Have to review it. So, excellent. Yeah, and that's it for game talk. I uh, hope you can see you guys later, and some more episodes coming in the near future. Peace. Peace, yo. Cheese and salad. I like cheese. Salad and tacos.